seconds and counting. Hey, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. It's Anisha, and we have some news for y'all. The Texans cut linebacker Zach Cunningham, and this move didn't really shock some people as there's some legitimate reasons as to why the Texans decided to do it. Um, one being that um, Zach Cunningham didn't really attend like team meetings and didn't even uh, abide by COVID protocols. And that was one of the reasons. And also because of his lack of production this season, I think Cam Gruger Hill like by far outperformed um, Zach Cunningham this year. And it's crazy how far we come because just last year, uh, Zach Cunningham led the league in tackles and 164 combined tackles, 106 solo tackles. Obviously, that number can be inflated a lot due to like us having a really bad D line and him just having tackles like nine yards after like from the line of scrimmage. So obviously, those tackles might not have as much value as like the number might indicate. But like this season, he just um, countless missed tackles, like really bad um, pass coverage, no effort, and the guy who is usually out there on third downs was not there. So. Um, David Cully, when he was asked about the decision, he says, we got standards. We didn't feel like those standards had been met consistently. And I feel like I made a, deci a decision that is best for the team. It's about the team. It's not about any individual. And then he, it was, he was asked if it was tough to make the decision, and he said it wasn't tough at all. And so, yeah, he was benched twice this year, and um, he was second on the team in tackles in 10 games played. Um, but... He, uh, Cully said it has nothing to do with production, it has something to do strictly with not meeting our standards that we have here, and he didn't meet, uh, meet those. So, um, so the result of cutting Zach Cunningham is that there's a $12.8 million dead money charge and, uh, $2 million cap savings in 2022 and $10 million in cash savings. So, uh, it has no effect on the 2021 salary cap, um, but, but yeah, that, that's the implications there. And so, yeah, that's, that happens because we gave Zach Cunningham a four-year, $58 million contract. And so so now we have to deal with the $12.8 million cap, dead cap. And the result of giving that contract, guess who gave Zach Cunningham that contract? Jack Easterby, who has no football experience whatsoever. And obviously, Cal McNair and Bill O'Brien gave him the authority to do so. Um, but, yeah, just another one of, like, a bad contract just gone away. And it was also reported um, that Zach Cunningham wanted to be traded at the beginning of the season. And I feel like if we had done that, we could have possibly gone in some value rather than nothing. But, I mean, I would have hoped that we got at least, like, like a fifth-round pick. Um, but it's crazy that we're getting absolutely nothing now. And you can, like, point to the contract for that reason. But it's just really unfortunate as to, like, what we have to deal with now. And... A lot of people are saying, okay, what about Deshaun Watson? He hasn't been attending team meetings. Um, it's just a very different situation. And, like, obviously we can't, like, just cut Deshaun Watson. Like, that's going to have so much um, dead cap money on us. So so there's that. But, like, obviously we have to hold players to the same standards. Um, that that makes sense. Like, not even attending code protocol. Like, you got to abide by that. Like, that's not even Texan policy. That's NFL policy. So, um, but yeah, it's just unfortunate we couldn't get any trade value for him, but that's pretty much it for me. Let me know what you think about this roster move by the Texans. Do you think it was reasonable? Do you think we should have done it differently? But yeah, uh, please like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.